Hello, welcome to chapter 19, part 1, Bootstrap Nav Component, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn how to create the Bootstrap Nav Component. Right now, let us understand that very clearly. Keep in mind, Bootstrap is going to provide us some of the classes to create the navigation components. In the sense, Bootstrap is going to provide me some of the classes to create the navigation tabs and pills. So, if I need to create a navigation tab, what I need to make use of? I need to make use of this class present here. The class is nav and nav tabs. It is used to create the navigation tabs. Similarly, if I need to create the navigation pill, then I need to make use of this class nav, nav pills. So, let me jump back to Visual Studio and here, uh, let me show you how to create a navigation tab. So, uh, what I'll do, let me take a due. To this due, let me add a class called call access 12. So, to this due, what I need to do is I need to take an ordered list and to this unordered list, I need to add one and only class that is nav and nav tab. Okay, that's all. My navigation tab is ready. But keep in mind, if I if I need to create a navigation bar, I need a, an ordered list and also the list items present in it. So I need to add a list items and I need to add something like some of the links, navigation links, home and let me copy and paste just to save the time. Home, um, this is contact and this is about. Okay, and control S and coming back let me show you let me make use of this class also active it is used to make the navigation tab or pill active so what I'll do is to this list item what I need to do I'll need to add a class called active control s and when I jump back to my browser and when I refresh it you can observe this is what the navigation tab is this currently this home is active so it is um, blocking in this manner and these two things are not active okay this is how you will create a navigation tab coming back to my presentation and now how to create a navigation pill it's very simple what you need to do is, is instead of nav tab I need to add a nav pill class okay let me go back and let me refresh this is what the navigation pill is okay and this is how we'll create a navigation pill so uh, instead uh, and we learned like how to create a navigation pill and how to create a navigation bar uh, navigation uh, tab but let me show you like how to add icons to each of them it's very simple we have to make use of the glyph icons class present here so in order to do that what I'll what I'll do is um, let me add uh, one of the glyph icon class that is okay span in, uh, for so in order to get the glyph icons you have to visit this URLs uh, that is get bootstrap.com slash glyphicons and if I need to get uh, a ohm symbol okay this one is the glyphicon class I need to copy here right now control C and coming back to my page I have to take a class here and I have to paste that okay now when I refresh you can observe uh, how the icon sits in this in this place okay it's sitting outside right now we have to configure it clearly okay why is it sitting outside because okay I pasted it here Control X, but I have to paste within this anchor link itself. Okay. Span. To this span, I need to add a class. Uh, what I copied there, glyph icon, and the glyph icon home. Okay. Control S, and coming back to my web page, let me show you how it renders there. It renders in this manner similarly if I need to add icons to contact and about uh, let me show you let me add some of the class glyph icon classes it's very simple uh, let me copy this okay and okay here I need to add a glyph icon and the glyph icon name I remember so I'm adding it directly it is your phone okay it is your phone if you don't remember the glyph icon classes what you need to do is you need to uh, visit this URLs there you'll get all the glyph icon classes but as of now I remember the glyph icon classes so I'm adding directly similarly for the second one to this one I need to add another span class okay and for the about what I'm taking is I'm taking like uh, a glyph icon info sign okay 
doing control s let's jump back to my browser and let me refresh we'll get all the icons right now okay this is what uh, we can create a navigation tab or a build with these icons so I made use of this uh, glyph icon classes present here to in order to do that work and coming back to my presentation what is this nav stacked okay in the sense currently our navigation items okay they are uh, lying next to each other if I need to stack each of them in the sense if I need to make them lie one on, e on each other what I need to do is I need to make use of this nav stacked so let me show you very clearly what I need to do is I need to add a class called nav stacked here that's it and when I do that what happens you observe here control F5 okay they are stacking on each other okay similarly if I need to do for tabs I just need to change the class here control S coming back and refresh its tabs right now okay this is what the advantage of using this um, nav stack class and coming back nav justified okay what do you mean by nav justified so let me remove this tabs and nav pulse instead of adding this nav stack let me show you the advantage of using this nav justified nav justified control s and rest refresh you can observe here right now they are placing next to each other but when I added the nav justified each of the link they are justified and lying the center they're lying at the center okay this is for the advantage of using the nav justified class similarly if I need to do for uh, tabs what I need to do is I, I need to just change the name of the class here control s coming back and refresh currently you can observe they are justified they are lying at the center of each of the class okay that's the advantage of using this nav justified class coming back to presentation and we learned all the things present here like we are left with this disabled let me show you what is the advantage of using this disabled also now uh, for example if I need to make this contact disabled what I need to do is to this list item I need to add a class called disabled so when I do disabled and let me go back and refresh currently you can observe a stop symbol coming because we have added a list item list uh, to the list we had a class called disabled currently it is disabled we can't we can't click on that that's the advantage of using this disabled it is used to disable the navigation tab or pill okay we also saw the advantage of using the active coming back to the presentation here you can observe on screen size less than 768 pixel the navigation links are stacked so what I'll do here right now it's justified okay let me come back and you, uh, let me show you the show you using the pills such that it looks good Control S. okay you can observe here on the large screen they are lying next to each other but immediately when I when the screen size reaches less than 768 pixel they'll stack on each other you can observe here okay you can observe here now the screen is less than 768 pixel so they are stacking on each other earlier they were lying next to each other okay that's the meaning of this sentence like on screen size less than 768 pixel the navigation links are stacked okay and the next point is drop down menu can also be used with the navigation tabs of pills okay in the sense currently I'm having this three navigation links okay when I click on uh, in the sense we can create a drop down to each of them so what I'll do is I'll go back here and to let me remove this disabled class as of now now I need to create a uh, drop down how do I do that uh, let me create a drop down to this link how about so what I need to do is to this list I need to add a class called drop down okay and to this anchor tag I need to add some of the classes called drop down toggle and I need to add one attribute data toggle is equal to drop down okay after that what I need to do is I need to add one more class span class to that span class I need to add a class called caret what is this caret going to do it's going to give me a, a triangle pointed downwards indicating the drop down so after this what I need to do is I need to add one unordered list okay um, to that unordered list I need to add a class called drop down menu such that it indicates the drop down menu okay now let me add items here like um, for it is about right so let me add some of the similar links vision and let me copy this control C control V and this is mission okay let me go back and let me refresh okay 
Currently, you can observe here I'm getting an arrow pointed downwards. When I click on that, I'm getting these okay two links in the sense drop down vision and mission so what i need to do is let me remove this justified such that it looks good control s let me go back and let me refresh you can observe here i'm i'm getting a drop down menu to this navigation link when i click on that it's you can observe very clearly okay this is what the meaning of this sentence to the navigation tabs or pills we can create a drop down menu also okay Okay, right now in this session we learned like how to create a, a nav tab, nav pill and what is nav stack justified and also for the navigation bar we saw we can create a drop down menu and we also saw a beautiful demo and finally thank you for listening, have a great day, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Ang Pro Training. you can also like our uh, Facebook page visiting these URLs, uh, you can also follow us on Twitter, for further references you can visit our websites and we are on LinkedIn too. And uh, last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you.